We have this wonderful facility, the Citron, where we can do drug screens um, in an academic setting. And we have the wonderful clinical research facility, the CIF. But what we really missed was something which would link the two things, and that's the BRC. In here we've got um, skin cells from patients with Parkinson's, actually ones that were um, biopsied here in um, Professor Banland's clinic. Um, and so what we can do is set them up and, and grow them in plates like this. Um, we're doing a drug repurposing screen. Uh, and so these are drugs which are currently used for other diseases uh, and then we're screened to see whether they can be useful in Parkinson's. Um, so we've got one uh, really good candidate that's come out, and so that's UDCA. And what we found was that it really boosts the energy status of the cells from patients with Parkinson's. And drug repurposing is really a fantastically powerful approach to allow the academic community to undertake more drug trials. Why is that? Because it's much cheaper and it's much quicker to assess novel compounds for their effect in illnesses such as Parkinson's disease. So the thing that really enabled the screen to happen uh, is having a drug screening facility in Citron. So we have several high content imaging machines and other pieces of equipment that normally are found mainly in industrial, pharmaceutical industrial labs and there's very few academic labs that have them uh, in the UK which means that we can find the biology, undertake the screen uh, and then move it beyond that uh, back to the patients. The reason I do what I do is to have a benefit for, for people with neurodegenerative diseases. Um, that's why I get up in the morning and come to work and so that's my ultimate aim. The Sheffield BRC um, is really exciting going forward because in one year we've already made a lot of progress but actually also we've, rec we've recruited some really, really talented young scientists, both clinical scientists and basic scientists, to train in the translational neuroscience pipeline uh, and that's really exciting going forward um, over the next four years. And now we have the infrastructure, we have the people, we have the facilities, we have the brains to take the drugs we've found at Citron into early clinical trials, into academically led clinical trials.